Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do A King's Vengeance by Scout Comics issue number one. Uh, a tale by Peter Rick or something like that. Um, it's been created by Peter Rick and Davila Leblanc. And um, yeah, so this is a, you know one of those gamble comics that I'm, you know, once in a while buying to check it out if it's good or not. Um, I have one Scout comic. I didn't like that. I didn't like the paper quality. I didn't like the story. The colors were saturated. It was a little bit too social justice warrior for me. Um, but hey, um, you know, I once in a while I give things a chance. So um, this is a King's Vengeance. This cover looks really good. I mean, what draws me in is not only the color scheme, but also a guy riding a dinosaur. So in, in some kind of a civilization here. Uh, very cool. Um, but I have some gripes with it, so let's dive in. So first of all, the first gripe is this. I know that people, you know, creators made decisions about certain properties and says, hey, let's do something like this. I mean, um, Noctera, who, has gonna, who I'm going to review later, uh, has the same problem. He, Noctera has two black Pages with nothing on it, with a little small of text here and there. Um, for me, that's an insult to the reader. Why? Um, because I pay a lot of money for, uh, you know, those internal pages. So two pages of black ink, you know, doesn't do it for me. It doesn't evoke uh, uh, some kind of a feeling. The only feeling that it evokes is irritation and disappointment. Um now, I'm not saying that's here the case as well, but, you know, why not make it a smaller one and continue here? But hey, let's say this is an artistic des decision. Let's move on. And uh, we have also an explanation because there's an old evil is once again rising called Mosdial. And it seems that he has acquired a body of a human child. And... Um, you know, so he's, you know, but he's still weak. So before he's going to be before all powerful, um, a kingdom uh, with a king called King Ulrich, um, you know, is going to charge into the enemy's territory before he can rise to power. He allied himself with other factions with from other countries. But um, the king has a first for vengeance and instead of, you know, um, being a force for good, he is going to rule the other factions because he's taking over the lands. Um, he's going to rule with an iron fist. He's become a tyrant himself. So in this case, there are no winners, only losers. And there's only half of people left of the kingdom. So and the rest is dead. Um, so this is the first page we see here. Uh, People, you know, like Vlad Dracula did, you know, years ago or, you know, hundreds of years ago, spiking people up as a as a display of terror and power. Um, what I dislike, but I get what they are going for is this is the picture and then they are going to zoom in and zoom in and zoom in, and which creates this layer. Uh, you could do the, f um, I mean, I, okay, let's, let's dive into the nitty gritty first then. Um, I'm not a big fan of repeating same artwork in the same book or multiple books. I mean, I think that's lazy. But I also know that there's, an art, again, artistic vision about what they are trying to achieve. And in this case, I get it. I'm not mad. I just don't like it. But I'm, I get what they are going for. So, moving on. We see the king. Um, and his advisor says, um, they killed all of our man. There is no one left but us. We are defeated. And, um, but the king says, their men are burning behind us. This is our chance. But uh, then his advisor says, this is suicide. And uh, then he whistles and then his, I don't know, his um, dinosaur-like uh, raptor steed comes and he says, if you, can go, if you can come with, then don't. But then this advisor, in, in this, I like the armor, by the way. It, it, it reminds me of 40K, you know. So this is more of a blend of old and new. I like that. Uh, he says, Ulrich, my friends, you people need 
Our pe- yeah, your people need their king. And I have a daughter and a family waiting. We all do. And he says, I don't. And then he drives off and drives, rides off alone. So he storms the enemy castle uh, and there is enemies waiting for them. And he is uh, attacking them. Um, I don't like that's the pink goo. Why not, you know, red like blood? But again, and he has, uh, he's not weak. He is a, a fierce warrior. He is also can use his sword as a gun and blows, a, you know, this enemy's brains out. And then he goes into the castle and then he shouts, um, uh, Mosdiel, where are you? Come out. And then Mosdiel sits on the throne and he says, you crusade this doom the moment it started. All of your bravest insects came chase challenging me, not knowing what I was capable of. And then he sits on the throne and he has his belief powerful minions looks really cool i love the design by the way um and then he comes off the throne and then he uses his powers to rip off the arms of the king so yeah he has some kind of a te- telekinetic power so he plays a little bit with his 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 toy and then his minions are laughing at the king being defeated and being ripped apart and then uh, his trusty, quote-unquote, steed tries to get him, but he cannot. And um, the Mosdiel says, I give you a chance. Grab, I, I will give you a chance, he says. Grab your weapon and strike me as I stand here. But he can't, he has no arms. Ha, 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 that's funny. I laughed a little bit, too. <laughs> so, um, but the king is bored. Well, not the king, Mosdiel is bored. And uh, he basically commands, you know, um, well, not commands, uses his power to rip off also the legs of the king. And we see him here screaming and crying. And then then he turns around Well, his blood is gushing everywhere. And then he is getting mad. And he says, what are you doing here, old man? You're making a mess. Leave. And then he uses telekinetic power and throws him off this, well, uh, of the tower of evil onto this pile of bodies and then the king dies and that's over and then we have another artistic decision here when there's all a pile of bodies of all the soldiers that Masdiel have slain so it's over we think well not entirely well sort of because out of nowhere there's some kind of a I don't know an old man a creepy man, a merchant maybe, a wizard maybe, I don't know. And he sees that, oh, this is the markings of the king. And so he approaches. And then also his trusty steed, which is not a steed, but a, you know, a raptor, um, a, protects the body of the king like a dog is, you know, when his master is passing away and then he weeps at the grave. Uh, at his from you know you know at the grave of his master, so and then this person blows some kind of a smoke or powder into the face of this raptor, his steed, and then the steed is calming down, and then he takes the body of the king, puts him in you know this driving whatever it is, and then he goes away, and then we see all of the bodies still here and that's a lot of bodies i must say and i must and that's the end of the book for this issue yes uh it's over and then we have some ads here um so what do we learn well what i've learned is that this comic is very thin 22 or 23 pages and if you are you know putting out all these things here with the artistic decisions, it's even less. Um, Is it bad? No, it is not. Um, The quality of the cover is good. The quality of the paper is good. I like the deliberate color scheme, what they are going for, the purples, the blacks, the whites, the reds, and everything in between. Um, I'm... You know, I'm getting used or, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I'm not sure if I liked the art uh, at first glance, but because they're going clearly for a very cartoony style, as you can see here, I mean, you could transform this into a uh, cartoon on, well, not probably not on Cartoon Network. If, does that Cartoon Network even exist? I don't know. Um, or Crunchyroll. Um, it's very bloody. It's very mature. Um, what it's lacking is, how do you say, not only pages, but more, you know, there's not much text here. There's not much story. Well, this, it's visual storytelling, and the visual storytelling is good, but, you know, the Kings, there's, there's not much, you know, lore except what we see here. And then the king wants to have vengeance. He's going to fail. He's going to get killed. His body is thrown into a pile of bodies, which looks really cool. And then there is a guy dragging his corpse away to do I don't know what. So uh, when it comes to content, there's very light, almost nothing. But the last page that you know he's going to get dragged away is very appealing and intriguing to me. And all those weird artistic decisions like this, I really don't like. Again, I pay for three ninety nine for less than 23, 22 pages. I don't think it's that worth it. That's worth it. Uh, worth it. Sorry, my English is, is not really good sometimes. Um, but I don't dislike it, but it's not very good either. Uh, and when we're not very good, I mean the lack of content. Um, the story is intriguing. The world is intriguing. Um, the, you know, there is an evil inside of a body and then he is wiping out or snuffing out the king's army in, you know, in a very little time. So he's basically all powerful for now, uh, I guess. Um, yeah, um, I'm a little bit on the fence. I like it, but it needs more content. So I cannot recommend the price tag. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to get issue two. Maybe I will because I'm intrigued and curious how it goes further. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have to think about that. Um, and that brings us to the end of the video. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Give me a like, give me a sub. And uh, we talk about comics soon because I have a lot more comics to talk about. Guys, thank you for watching. See you next time.